if you're going to be spending money um, or doubloons in the game, you have to be prepared to not get a ship. And so, to me, you have to look at it and say, you know, I'm willing to, you know, get flags. I'm willing to get camo, right? Um, and a ship is a bonus. So look at it that way. You're buying ca uh, camo, you're buying flags to hopefully make your grinds that much easier, um, you know, in the game. And if you get a ship, cherry on top. If you look at it saying, I'm buying this specifically to get a ship, you're just going to get disappointed because you're not going to get a ship. And to you, you're going to say, I wasted X amount of dollars. Yeah. So no pump. I don't know what no pump means, elusive spider. Needs three more Weimar, four Weimar, three Sharnhorst one would be totally Carnage Surge and Sully. The problem with that is all the damage would, would uh, get, you know, distributed more amongst the team, which basically means uh, overall everybody's base XP is a little bit lower. So your 45 snowflakes got you nine megas, all flags and camos. Well, at least you didn't spend any money, who jam, right? Okay, so let's look at this game here. You're with Urbach in the in Hayate, who's going mid, and you are going off to the side. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna say this. If you're in a division, you should be working together in a division, which means I appreciate, you know, Bach going mid with the Hayate, but if he's gonna do that, then you should probably be sticking around mid as well. Like, there's nothing that stops you from staying at, like, golf three so that you've got shots into mid uh, with your sap, you know what I mean? Um, now you're coming down here and shooting at a Kremlin early is another thing that I would I would mention not to do uh, You've already done it. So hey by all means keep shooting But you don't want enemy destroyers to know that you exist because as soon as they know you exist Then they know to play around you. They know to play around your SAP um, What you want to do with the Venezia is you want to play the Venezia if you're gonna play it on the flank you don't shoot until you're detected and you've got like a destroyer right there that you can just blap with with that SAP because then they've got no idea that you exist. Whack them. Now they've lost half their health or more. Um, and that could be the decisive advantage uh, on your team, on, on your side or your flank. New Trishimi from the 20th. Cover my replay. All right. Let's do it. Chat, for those of you guys who are new to all of this uh, stuff, I think this is the right oh, file. Uh, we do replay analysis for the most part of our stream, and um, you can kind of see what we're doing right here. I'm talking through uh, what Rob is doing. Rob's uh, the one who played this game. So we're going to talk through it and stuff like that. The best chance, we went through it, um, for, for the dollar or the certificate, the chances are slightly better for the mega container. Um, but personally, I would say if you, if you don't have a lot of ships, uh, I would go with the, with the big gift, which is the $3. And then if you have a lot of ships, I'd go for the mega. Um, because I'd rather spend $3 and get a crap ship, um, than, you know, spend five dollars on the mega and get a crap ship um okay so the z52 made inky ran away and you kept kiting south why did you keep kiting south there i was worried about getting shot at plus i wasn't really paying attention to where i was going you okay have a smoke in case you get shot at yeah yes. i know and hi I'll sat a... guys you just waste the smoke so i was trying to not waste it as much well so the way i see it with the venezia and and napoli too for a certain degree but venezia more so your smoke is for two purposes one is to get into position and two is to get the heck out um so you know i can understand wanting to hold the smoke as long as it means that you're not getting focused and you know blapped or whatever you're, it's okay yeah, if i'm getting focused i'll pop smoke I mostly just use it, keep it around, in case I need to you know, get out of there. I mean, let me say this: you're very lucky that the Kerfurst and Kremlin don't seem to care that you exist. Like, who are they shooting at? I'm guessing the Schlieffen. Uh, why did you uh -oh. turn back? You could have just kept going north and get better angles in the morning. Right. That's the other thing. Um, so, 
like I was saying about this ship being something that you use, I'm gonna pause the replay for a sec, something that you use for getting out onto the flank, you can use that smoke to get yourself uh, farther out onto the flank as well. So let me do this, let me, I'm gonna slow down the game quite a bit, I'm gonna fly over to where I would have gone, um, and Elbing is also very similar play style to what you would be doing. So what you wanna do is you wanna get over to the 10 line as quickly as possible. Once you get to the 10 line, you start rolling up the side. And right about here, right about here, I'm gonna zoom in, and the Des Moines, of course, has disappeared. But right about here, look at that kind of an angle that you've got on the Des Moines right now. If the Des Moines is gonna sit here and play bow on games, no problem, you hold your fire. Right about here, if you're about to get detected by Kerfer's Kremlin, whatever, you, that's when you pop your smoke and you use it to crawl up more onto the side of the Des Moines, unleash hell with, with your AP loaded, okay? And then what's he gonna do about it? Nothing, right? And then when you fire, you can, you can turn, you can either turn south or, depending on how much room you've left yourself here, you could turn up against the wall and then turn south, you know, like that way, and, and then get out of dodge. Now you're using your smoke uh, to cover your retreat, which, hey, it, it's fine at this point because you are by yourself on, on this flank other than the Elbing. Um, also, don't be afraid to luck chuck your torpedoes. Because they are quite long range. Hey, it's like you were listening to me. <laughs> now, I would not shoot here. If you want to shoot... Uh, you could, but wait until the Kremlin fires first. Because you shot, and look, his guns were so close to you, he doesn't even have to turn them that much, and now he's firing back at you. And now you have to dodge, and now you're going to take some damage. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. He shot at the freaking Montana, who's full health. Okay. Oh, but the Kerfer shot at you. That could have really hurt. That could have been very painful. Something I have found with the Venetia is sometimes all you need is good water control, and all of a sudden, there people are starting to ignore. Good rudder control is helpful. Um. But, you know, like, the way that you're playing the ship right now is more similar to playing, like, a Hindenburg. Um, you know, you're, you're far back, you're lobbing shells up and over to hit targets. Um, you know, you're not using it to its strengths, uh, in my opinion. Uh, look at the Stalingrad pushing in on the other side. He's a great target for your SAP. Um, because you'll pin that 50 millimeter deck on the Stalingrad. So your sap will chew that Stalingrad up. So I would be looking at him instead of this Kremlin. The Kremlin's probably going to die. He's facing a Montana, a Salem, a Kerr first. And he's stopped and he's backing up. Yeah, there he goes. Um, the issue is you've got another Kremlin now that's in front of you. Ammo racked again. Nice name. And now you're going to have to make that game return in front of a Kremlin and in front of a Burgonia, and your Zhao is going to possibly crash into you, so, uh, oops. Hey, you actually got through okay. Well, I would have looked at the Kremlin before going, at least. Where is he looking? Has he shot? All that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Here's a sap shell into the Marceau. This is what you want to do and the opening engagement. And that's why I said early on, you hold your fire, don't shoot until you get really close. Here's your heal. Now, most of the time, destroyers will wiggle. So you, you wanna pick a, a, you wanna get an idea of what their general line is, and then you wanna fire along that line, um, which you kinda did, yeah. Also, you want to wait when they're firing. They tend to be more distracted, so they don't dodge your shots. 
That's a good point. At this point, the Marceau knows that as soon as as soon as you are on the minimap, you fired at him. But uh, he also crashed into the island, so oops. Oh, look at you putting your smoke up. Why did you smoke here? I don't remember. I think I was trying okay. to avoid getting spotted, brought that onto that Stalingrad. Okay. His, his AP would just shred me. Uh, 17 kilometers? You could actually dodge a shot there. And True, but I didn't, but I didn't really trust my uh, ability to dodge. Right. My concern is is more. I like the switch to AP there onto Stalin as he as he beached. My concern is more that you no longer have a smoke available, because that was your last one. Um, I wouldn't have fired there. I would have switched to SAP. I don't think you're gonna get a Citadel on him. You have Sensenetti on this on the ship. Yeah. Looks like he does. I do. Yep, sap would have been better. Usually, ships will angle uh, after the first shot, so you want sap yep. at that point. Right, exactly. And you've changed to sap now. Um, forget the Marceau, he is so far away. I, I don't think you have a good chance of hitting him. You do have a good chance of killing that Stalingrad, though. So I would be looking at the Stalingrad here. Taking a shot at that range, at that HP is understandable. Trying to get him out? Yeah. It's two sap rounds, all you need. Mm hmm. Also, um, you're turning back in. But the thing is, if you're not going to shoot him, I don't see a point. You may as well just concentrate on a stalling rod. Yeah. Yeah, like pick one, right? Okay, looks like Stalingrad is committing to the turn. There's that, but also you kind of was just doing donuts in your spawn and not firing your guns. So, considering how close the game is, you should it would be better to get into a kiting position and just farm out the Stalingrad or one other ship. That's exactly what I was thinking, right? Okay. Uh, focus the Hindenburg now. Oh, you get a Citadel right before he dies. There you go. Now, Hindenburg's got six kilometer torpedoes. He most likely has fired at them, uh, fired them at you by now. It was while I was starting to move over there. Trying to... You're starting to switch direction. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where were those shells going? So you're staying- yep, see there's the torps. Okay, good, so you, you got the dodge at least. Nope! You took one on the butt. I overturned. Yep. Yep, but hey, you got the kill. And be more nice, thank you very much for the raid. How you doing, man? Welcome aboard, everybody. We are uh, doing some replay analysis. This is Ask Replay Theater. Now You're fine. Bismarck good. And I'm flooding. Yep. Yep. So that's good. Also, I would have had SAP loaded uh, right away as soon as the Hindenburg was gone because what else are you going to shoot at besides destroyers at this point in the game? Yes, Actually, make sure you are. so came up, I would have not even bothered to switch. I would have shot immediately. Oh, switch to, to SAP from AP? So, when that Marceau popped up, he had AP loaded. I would have shot at that mm -hmm. instant, even if it was AP. Sure, why not? Yeah, even overpens is probably is enough to kill him. Pretty much. You just need the... you just need overpens, that's it. And he was only spotted for about half a second. Which could have been enough if you're... Uh, if you reacted a bit faster. Mm-hmm. Good point, good point. And at this point, too, I, I think I'd be just charging into the middle here. You kind of need to make a play. I would have actually and shot the Delny there. Yeah, he did with his rear turrets. And by the way, thanks for the, the follow there, 
um, meal s <laughs> Muslimin? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit exclamation boy ticket, guys. We are doing giveaways. This is a charity stream. And as we get donations, we are giving away uh, subscriber camouflage codes, CC container codes, and uh, Santa's gift container codes. Um, basically, every time we get a donation, we are going to do a, a drawing. Stevie is downstairs. He was bothering. Oh, and he got the Marceau with the Torp. Wow. Um, Stevie's downstairs bothering the wife right now for food. She's making him a snack, and then he'll be back. And I gotta have to. I'm gonna have to go down and get my dirty water after this game. If you still have one damn right, Ash. This would actually be a good time to farm to fork own. Mm-hmm. So this goes back to that discussion earlier about that last smoke and using that. Yeah, you pretty much have to use islands now in order to conceal your movement because you don't have heals, you don't yep. have smoke. So you have to make him not shoot at you. Or and you're also sailing, you're also sailing right towards the Borgogne's last known position. Oh, never mind. Since since you have the destroyer advantage, and there's no way for them to actually kill him, you could actually just uh, sit far back. Yep. Like, you don't even have to engage this if you don't want to. Is DM good for ranking up? If you're talking about for ranked, absolutely. Des Moines is a great ship for ranked. Uh, ranked battles, I mean, any game, but ranked especially, it's all about killing the destroyers, right? So, Des Moines fantastic at doing that. And broadside cruisers. Des Moines is one of the best all-around ships in ranked. She is still yep. one of the harder ships, but she's effective against everyone. Yep. Now, you've got the outer ring, middle ring, technically the inner ring, but you're not gaining points on it. So is Golden Liu. Gaelic, you love that ship. I don't know. So I was basically trying to fast stop that Kremlin. Mm hmm. He, although he did decide to turn, so. Well, what you want to do, two minutes, you have two minutes and 30 seconds left in the, in the match, right? Oh, the Zhao got the Kremlin. All right, so at this point, um, you want to keep the Burgania off your Hayate. You so were actually too close. I would have just zoomed past mm -hmm. the island in case the Borgone happened to look at you. Right, and he did he did start targeting you, so he's turning his guns towards you already. Got you to rank one in five days. Very nice. I haven't played that much um, ranked, probably because I was out of the country, but also because I've had so many other things to do. We have another week though to finish the sprint, so. I'm, I'm not sure too you zoom in on the Borgone. You should be looking where his turrets are. Yep. And if his turrets are looking the opposite direction, like towards the Hayate, open fire. Because it's going to take him forever to turn back around. They are. Shoot. There you go. Now, you waited I until mean, you were about to clear the island, but... You don't even have to. Like, uh, this is where you damage farm, because he exactly. needs to kill everyone right now. As long as right. your Hayate doesn't die, then just go damage farm. And if the Bragani is looking at you, or is, is trying to turn to look at you, then he's taking his eye off the Hayate, which means Hayate could possibly survive if he got detected at the last second. So, it's all those little things to think about. Right, nobody, nobody dies and you're good. Exactly, Grunty. I think he's going to get hayate here. There you go. And general offensive pops. You don't need to insist on torping that much. Like, you could have shot Borgona a couple more times. Mm-hmm. 